guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, today I want to make a video about the two expansions that Pokemon is going to release. Uh, Isle of Armor and Crown of Tundra. They'll be $15 each or $30 for both. Um, and that has created a civil war with the Pokemon community right now. Um, I've seen a very nasty side of that community. I've commented a couple of times because I believe that this should have been added to the base game. Uh, the base game feels a little bit hollow to me, um, and I think this DLC looks great. I think the stories look great. I think adding in 200 Pokemon is great. And I'm not one that really complained in the beginning about there not being a national dex, but this does feel a little bit shady to me. Um, the reason that Game Freak came out and said that the national dex wasn't going to be put into this game was because of time constraints and some other issues. Um, and then two months later, they announced this massive DLC with over 200 Pokemon. I don't believe that this wasn't planned. Um, I do believe that the game was put out this way uh, just because they had DLC planned in the future. I wish that they would have said that. I wish that they would have came out and said, you know, in the future, we will have plans to put in other Pokemon. Um, but they didn't. They said there was no current plans. So, to me, I, I don't like that. I don't like that Nintendo has fallen into this DLC trend. I get why. They want to make money. Um, and it's just disappointing to me. I wish that they could have held on a bit longer. Um, a lot of comments that I got, a lot of hateful comments that I got, were saying, um, this is so much better than the Ultra Moon and the Ultra Sun and the, the third game in the series. Um, I don't think so. I don't think this is better at all. I think that you could have avoided those games and still been fine. You could still catch all the same Pokemon. There were such subtle differences that I think it was okay to, okay, I want to move on to this because I'm done with the other version of the game and I'm basically replaying that game because that's essentially what Ultra Moon was. You're essentially replaying Moon with very slight differences. Um, this DLC is 100% different from uh, Sword and Shield, so I don't believe that that's the same thing at all. So yeah, I don't think that's a fair point at all. I don't believe the Ultras are the same um, in this case at all. Um, one thing that has bothered me for a very long time, and which is the entire point of this video, um, Nintendo, Nintendo is very bad about this. No matter what product they put out, it seems to get defended by Nintendo's fan base. And I am a Nintendo fan, and I, I'm here to tell you it's okay to question what they do. I grew up playing Nintendo, but Xbox is really what got me into gaming um, consistently. So I question Xbox's every single move. Um, at the end of the day, they are a company. They want to make money. And they're going to do that at the expense of the consumer. That's just how business works. Um, it's okay to question it. And these are very valid arguments that people are making against this DLC. Um, and when you blindly defend it, it does not make that okay. My main point being is it's okay to question game companies' motives and you can still be loyal to that company. Um, it's not a well, at least we're getting this this year. No, we're the consumer. We should have more influence on what they put out. And as long as we blindly follow and blindly pay money for whatever they put out, it's going to continue to happen. Uh, example for me, Modern Warfare came out earlier this year, or last late last year, um, and they said, we're not putting Spec Ops out for Xbox until a year from now. Um, so a year from now, another Call of Duty is going to come out, and that is when Spec Ops, the game mode, is going to be available. Somebody figured out it was around 20 or 30 percent of the game, and that wasn't going to be available for Xbox, but it was going to be available for PlayStation. Um, that's a big deal. They charge the same price for both games. I still don't have that game, and I refuse to buy it on launch or anything like that because I won't support that. That's wrong, and as a consumer. The only way to, to let them know is to share your feedback. To, they do pay attention to that, believe it or not. And to let them know, you know, this is not right. And for those that do say that, it's okay. It's okay to share your opinion. 
Um, those that are are getting attacked right now for saying that. How dare you go against Nintendo and Pokemon and all that? No, no. They're a company just like anybody else. And I've been called ignorant several times for voicing my opinion that, you know, this is not right. Um, and that's ridiculous. It's a video game. Um, I'm allowed to share my opinion just like you're allowed to share yours. Um, if you're excited about the DLC, great. I'm happy for you. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. But more than anything, we get caught up in thinking, oh, I'm not loyal to this company if I complain about it. Not true at all. I'm still a Nintendo fan. I'm still a Pokemon fan. I don't like this move. And it's just as simple as that. Um, and that's just where we're at. People think that, you know, you can't complain about anything anymore or you're just, you know, entitled and all that. It's not true at all. As a consumer, you have the right to complain. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, let me know, do you agree with the DLC? Are you happy about it? If so, great. Um, or are you like me? Are you a little bit disappointed? Let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching.